everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised, I will be doing my hair tutorial with how I curl my hair or get these beach waves. So this is pretty much how I do my hair almost every day. Sometimes I'll keep it straight, sometimes I'll curl it. It's just so easy and I feel like when I curl my hair, it lasts a little bit longer and I don't have to wash it as frequently. But other than that, let's get into the video. Okay, so let's get started with my hair routine. So before I even curl my hair, I always blow dry my my hair and if I was just leaving it straight this is how it would be I never flat iron my hair I think my mom would absolutely kill me she just always stressed it ruins your hair damages your hair so I think I learned to blow dry my hair I don't know in like eighth grade because after a while my mom didn't feel like blow drying my hair straight and uh, I had to learn so just a little background about my hair I have very curly hair it actually became a lot straighter I should say as I got older but it's frizzy as well so during the summer months, I do the keratin just to tame the frizz and just calm down the curls a bit. It just makes my routine for blow drying my hair a lot shorter and just so much faster so I could literally save 30 minutes. I'm not going to blow dry my hair on camera, but just so you guys know what I use. So I use a very big round brush and a professional grade blow dryer. Just like I use medical grade skincare, I use professional grade hair care. This one is the Ultra Turbo. Turbo 3600. It's made in Italy. I got it at the hair supply store. A quick little tutorial on how I blow dry my hair. I part it in sections. So if I'm at the bottom, I will put this one in a knot. I'll grab a piece and I'll put my hair in a round brush. And essentially, I will go like this and then keep on blow drying it and do you know, that whole entire routine for my whole entire hair. And then the only difference is when I actually get to the top portion, I always blow dry it, this portion like this and up just to give it some volume up here. So that's my hair routine with blow drying it. So now let's get into the curl routine. So I used to use a wand, sometimes I do, but now I just use a regular curling iron, but I use it as a wand. This is the Hot Tools Professional. I think this is the one of the quarter. You could use you know, a bigger one for more like beach waves. You can use a smaller one and then kind of wring them out. I like to use this side just because it gives me that in between a beach wave and a tighter curl. And then I sometimes will like loosen it with my hands. Pretty much, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna divide it. I have a lot of baby hairs. So I gel them as well or hairspray them. Does anyone else have baby hairs? I used to always be embarrassed of them, but now I just embrace them. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna part my hair. This is how essentially the size of each hair piece. And I always do it on the max amount of heat. Also forgot to mention before doing anything to my hair and I already put this in, I always use a heat relief or just a thermal protector for my hair. And this one is by Avita. I have other ones by the brand that my mom's salon uses. But essentially you put this, it's on dry hair. So let me just sprinkle it. It has to be six to eight inches away. So that's that. And then I'll part it. After I curl my hair, after each section, I like to spray my hair with some form of holding spray, whether it's hairspray or texturizing spray. So two that I use, be right back, I did not get them out. So two that I use are the Moroccan Oil Dry Texture Spray or the Erojo Primp Working Spray. This is a little bit heavier, this is a little bit softer. Really depends on what I feel like. I want it to stay a lot longer, like for an event or something like that, I'll do this one. If I just want it kind of like soft and just more like an effortless feel, I'll do the Moroccan Oil. So I essentially, I take my hair, I wrap it around like this, hold it for a little, and then let it go. So this is a lot tighter, like I said. My hair just falls out pretty quickly, so I don't mind it being this tight and then letting it kind of loosen as the day goes on. Essentially, I'll do the whole entire first layer like this. Back. If anyone has a favorite curling iron that they really like, 
leave it in the comments below. I've been using this one for years, so I really only know this one and it works for me. I really haven't changed it. So this is the last piece. So now that we did the bottom layer, as you can see, this is the bottom layer. I take the spray and I just spray it a little bit. After that, I will take my clip that I have on the top of my head and use it to hold this back and then take my second set of hair, another layer. And you know, depending on how tight you want your curls really depends on how much hair you put in each layer. So then take getting a scrunchie, putting that up here. Okay, we're on to the second layer. So this is on this side. On this side, I have this portion on the bottom and I wrap it up top like this. So this is my left side. Okay, and then on my right side, I'll do the same thing, but I just hold it with my left hand and I always twist away. That's, I think, the key twisting away from your face. Okay, wow. I'm like, wow, why isn't my hair curling? And that's because I trimmed it off. <laughs> okay, so now I have to redo these pieces. So like I was saying, always go away from your face. There we go. And away again. Perfect. Now we're going to this side. Same thing away from my face. Okay, and now we have this layer done. I spray it, put it back again, same thing. So this is gonna be my last layer before my top. Okay, so now we're at the top. So I always part my hair where I want it. Okay, I'm parted. I will take one piece and I kind of just do it. I'll show you again. So I just go again away. And then if you have some layers, I kind of like to split these in two just because I feel like since they're short, you kind of wanna, don't wanna have a ton of hair. So I split those in two. So this is one and then this is the front. I always do it back like this just because I like it a little bit more volume to the front. That's how this looks. This side. Same thing. And once more. Okay. So now I'm all done. I'm going to spray this again. So now that I'm all done, Pretty. I could either leave it like this, or if I wanted to getting a little bit more beachy, what I'll do is I'll take like a serum, which is pretty much a defrizzing serum and put it on my hands and kind of just like run it through my hair. So I'll show you. So I use the Erojo defrizz serum. So I put like the tiniest amount just because you don't want to put a ton of this. It's just going to make your hair super greasy. And the palm of your hand, it's probably like the size of a dime. And then I'll, Kind of go like this and run my fingers through it, fluff it, and that is all. And then I'll spray it a little bit with this again just to hold it. If I'm going somewhere else, I'll put this guy in. And that is pretty much my everyday or my curl routine with my hair. Super simple. I also like curling my hair. I feel like it gets less greasy when it's curled. I typically wash my hair every two days. I used to be able to wash it, like keep it for like every three days, but not anymore. Other than that, if I don't wash my hair, like the next day, what I'll do is I'll use a dry shampoo. This is my ultimate favorite dry shampoo. It's the Moroccan oil dry shampoo in the dark tones. This one really come out with, with the color, but it's nice that it doesn't come out like super, super, super white, but I love the smell of this. Sometimes a lot of the dry shampoos are super stiff. Does not make your hair feel stiff at all. I love this dry shampoo. But yeah, that is my curl routine. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. This is really even my, I don't know, my glam, I guess would be the same. Maybe I would do it a little bit tighter just so it lasts a little bit longer for the night. But other than that, usually I part my hair, not 
super in the middle, but kind of, I guess, in the middle. It's to the left side, and that's really it. If you like these kind of videos, like them, and leave some comments in the comment section below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, and give me some new video ideas. Other than that, I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.